Thank you very much. Those were some jigs. And now we're going to play some reels. Thank you. 
So that last tune was written um, in Canada. And the name of it is Les saint germain de Dion, which is the five twins of the Dion family. And you might remember in, I think it was sometime in the 40s, there were five children born in Canada. They all lived, and it was one of the earliest quintuplets. And that tune has very, you know, five distinct parts. And I've always wondered about the third part, all by itself in the key of G. That third sibling must have been very, very different, I think. Because all the other parts are in D major, so imagine being that third child in G major all by yourself. Um, we're going to play uh, a couple of different things. We're going to start with a march called Coleman's March. Um, that's an Irish tune, and the, the story behind this tune was, I believe, it was written the night before uh, a condemned prisoner was going to be taken to the gallows. That's what I heard anyway. And then what are we going to do after that, Joanne? Is it? Oh yeah, a lovely tune by Keith Murphy from Brattleboro, Vermont, on the Danforth. And then we're going to end with an Irish tune called Dylan Brown.
a beautiful waltz called In a Sheer, written by an Irish accordion player. In addition to being um, a phenomenally great fiddle player, Joanne is also an incredible step dancer, and she specialized in 
dancing on flagstone. Um, there's very few people that do that in the United States, but uh, and we, it turns out we have here a wonderful flagstone surface for her to dance on. She's going to dance a Strasse Bay and some reels. And Now, now the mic is on. So yes, there's, there's um, a lot of different types of Scottish dancing. Some are more structured than others. And this Cape Breton step dancing um, came from Scotland. And, and while it mostly died out in Scotland, it really thrived in Cape Breton, um, where the tradition was kept alive. And yes, doing it on flagstone makes it even more traditional, because the stone was here way before the steps. And um, we'll be doing stress bay. And if you said, like, Strass what? Then you are not alone. A Strass Bay is a type of Scottish tune that's unique to this type of music. And it tends to be in this style kind of quite um, frantic a little bit, almost hectic. And you feel sort of relaxed when you get to the reel. So we'll show you a couple of those steps here on this dance floor. The Stony Steps of Joanne Garten. So I'm gonna go, um, we're gonna go to the piano now and Joanne's gonna play some more fiddle tunes that she will tell you about. I feel like it really gets at the tradition of it when you do it with a mask on, you know, it's like cross-training for step dancing or something. So yeah, more dancing, but more masking too. So um, now are a couple of Irish reels. Is that right, Jeremiah? Okay. Um, the Yellow Tinker is a beautiful three-part Irish reel um, that I learned from the recording of Solace. I don't know if anyone 
Cordova remembers that band. There's one, two. Oh, yes, we're with the right people. Um, beautiful, beautiful tune. Not too easy. So I, uh, I think I can pull it off tonight. Dogs Amongst the Bushes. And um, then a tune called Touching Cloth, which is by James Kelly.
Thank you. I can, um, I, I have to tell you what a pleasure it is to play music outside with you. Um, I'm sure many of you have been at home a lot more than you used to be, as have we. And it feels really good. So thank you for being here. Yeah, kudos to you to, yeah, eating safely and safe pods and everything. So love it. Um, we're going to play another set of stress bays and reels. If you didn't quite catch the stress bays the first time around, you have another chance. This is a stress bay called Miss Lyle um, into a stress bay that I don't know the name of into a couple of reels. And this is kind of a, a common theme in Scottish and Cape Breton music. Lots of stress bays in, that go into reels. We've got a, a very, very traditional reel called Floor McDonald's into a modern composition, Mutt's favorite, into the Hyro to Linton, which is a traditional Scottish tune.
in addition to being an amazing violinist and an incredible step dancer, uh, Joanne also has written some really lovely tunes. These are on uh, her latest CD, her most recent CD. It's right there. Chloe is very helpfully showing it to you. Um, it's called The Bee's Knees, and it's a really great CD. And um, of course, that's one way you can support my music. So we're going to do a couple of these tunes. Um, and you want to tell them the titles? Oh, sure. Thanks, Jeremiah. I'll also mention that there's several of Jeremiah's amazing albums up here, too. Um, and when we take a break around 7, if you want to come up and chat to us about our music or or tunes that you like, or instruments that you play, or dancing that you miss, um, I'd love to hear about it. So, um, this first tune is called The Professor and His Cat, and was written by a woman who lives in the Shetland Islands now, um, way, 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 way north in past northern Scotland, uh, followed by a tune called um, The Big Meeting by Laura Risk, who's an extraordinary fiddler out of the Montreal area. Um, definitely encourage you to find her albums if you haven't heard them yet. Um, and the last tune is Kian's Lullaby, which I wrote um, for some traditional music playing friends whose baby Kian, uh, I think, didn't get as much rest as he needed because of all the late night sessions at their house. <laughs> Thank you. 
we'll do a couple more things and uh, take a break. We'll do uh, a waltz by Bob McQuillan called Emilia's Waltz. And then after that, we'll do something fast and browsing um, so that you feel like, oh, that's the end of the first half. You get a clue. <laughs>
Amanda?
That was uh, Highland Laddie, that, that last tune. Well, it's dark, so so there's nothing stopping you from, from doing some crazy stuff out there because we won't be able to see. And, and so. Now, um, the next tune, I, I want to dedicate this to my wife. Um, uh, this particular tune. <laughs> any, of you, any of you know my wife, Anamika? I had a dream. I'll assume you can hear me okay. So this comes from a dream, and in the dream, uh, I was, there was some cleaning up to be done in the house. You know how that goes? And um, I hear a melody. Um, ya da da da, ya da da. That, that melody is in the dream, and I'm listening to it, and I think, oh, I love that melody. I wish I, I should write it down. But I have to clean up the house. And in the dream, my wife says, forget the cleaning, write the song. So I woke up and by gosh, I, I wrote this song for her. It's called Dancing with Anamika. <laughs> Thank you. 
There's a lot of stuff. Just one moment. We didn't plan for darkness. <laughs> Thank you for dancing, everyone. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch. My first star was just over there. Um, so completely magical. Thank you for hosting us. Amazing. Um, a couple jigs for you. Myra's jig into the Roaring Barmaid. I say we didn't plan for darkness, but we should have. So many things like change in the world, but it will still be dark. At least we know that. So next time, <laughs> we'll bring little lights. I can't quite see the set list. But for those who have been paying attention, we've done jigs, reels, dress bays, waltzes. If you're not, if that means nothing to you, that it just they were different types of dance tunes. And now we're gonna try kind of a slow reel, slow an air. What would you call it, Jeremiah? A slow and pensive tune. Um, 
one of Jeremiah's as well. We played several of his tunes tonight. pick up the pace a little with um, three zippy reels um, and I had a, a, a lot of fun making the album that Jeremiah mentioned the bees knees um, because it gave me a chance to sort of geek out on some Scottish history and this first tune called the banks um, is often attributed to a relatively and I say relatively famous, um, very relatively famous J. Scott Skinner. But it was actually written by, um, by a, a man named Pagini, not Paganini, but Pagini. And he was an a, a Italian-Scottish man living in Glasgow. Um, so I just found that kind of fascinating because there aren't too many tunes that, that I know by Scots-Italians. Um, that are also, if you're sort of in the fiddle world, you might have heard this tune before. I can s also say relatively, big emphasis on relatively famous tune called, so this is the Banks. We'll follow that with a Canadian tune called Mittens Breakdown, and um, a reel that goes by the name Kohler's, Kohler's Hornpipe or Kohler's Reel. It might sound an awful lot to you, like Pachelbel's Canon, but the, um, some of the Irish are insisting they wrote it first. Okay, I'm just, 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 I
Someone's nodding their head out there. All right.
So our, our, our intention was to do a few more step dancing steps. Um, if I did them, would you see them? Yeah. Yeah. You would, okay, great. <laughs> Stony steps there. Um, well, um, it feels like the last evening of summer almost. I know it's going to get colder soon. Um, but I just want to say I hope you've enjoyed the music here. I want to just a big, big round of yahoos for Chloe Powell who puts this program together. Chloe! I just think, I think she does such an amazing job. I don't ever think there's enough you can say to support her. It's such a lot of work. I know because I'm one of the million people that she has to email umpteen times and she just puts her heart in it. So I really, really want to say thanks, Chloe, for all your hard work. Okay, so. Okay, the sound of slate. Do you know the sound of slate? what the sound of slate is. That's actually a, a, a little bit of a pun because the sound of slate is not a sound. It's a thing. It's a body of water in Scotland. The sound is the body of water and slate is the name of it. The sound of slate.
Rankin there was um, called Mari Rankins from Cape Breton. And if you haven't been to Cape Breton, it's a wonderful, wonderful island. Uh, you can't go there now, of course, because it's in Canada. But um, really, do try to make make a trip there sometime in your life. The scenery is is incredible for camping and biking, and the tunes are amazing. I think there's a storm a brewing, so we've got a couple. I think two more sets left. Um, but a couple of uh, um, popular jigs, the Jig of Slurs and Athel Highlander, and then we'll finish with a waltz called Sunday River. Um, thank you so much for being here, for staying, for having us, for doing sound, for organizing. Um, love it, absolutely loved it. Thank you.